right, welcome to the DA Sleeve Live Lounge. It's 7 o'clock on the dot. We have right here Historic Autos 1909 1912 Diamond Edition. You guys know what that means. Uh, that means the slabbed cards have um, the actual authentic tobacco card, the T206 7s and 8s, and all that, and a cut autograph. It's actually a great idea. They had uh, this product last year, but it didn't have all tobacco cards some of them were tobaccos others were uh like 101 class uh art cards but this they upped it it's really cool um something i've wanted to break for a while everybody in the break gets two dc live breakers edition packs these uh don't get shipped with your hit we're gonna have this big drawing for these uh in a few weeks uh they're almost sold out so you can take a look on the our, the page on that for more information on this. So what we're going to do here is I'm actually going to um, I have all of your names. There's five people, five cards. Um, what I can do is I don't know if there's anybody in the in the chat to make a a, a, a choice on this, but the draft will be tomorrow. I'm going to send out an email to everybody, just because we've realized that having the draft the next day really makes uh it makes it so much easier and there's only five people so it should be pretty easy it should you can email with everybody and every, all the cards in there all the hits but um but i'll probably do first is open up what we've done is we've opened this up and then um i'll give you a draft spot rather than you go in knowing your draft spot so that's that's cool you can look forward to it um so if there's a Cy Young, that'll be the first thing pulled. So you don't, you know, you have a chance at it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it on up. We'll see what's pulled. And then uh, it's going to be really quick. We're going to only have five cards, five boxes. Uh, you'll find out your draft position for tomorrow. And that'll be it. I'll, what I'll do is, you know, because it's going to go so quick, this will pretty much can be done in 10 minutes. Uh, I'll probably give you some information on the player, you know, these guys did play over a hundred years ago so you might not know some of these guys I know a little more but I'm not an expert per se but uh, you know if Ty Cobb's out of here we all know about Ty Cobb but maybe you don't know about somebody else so I'll just give you a little Wikipedia insight whether he's a Hall of Famer his career averages and all that so let's start this is the first one See what it is. Oh, I'm already excited. It is. Uh, this is Harry Walter. It's three of five. He played with the Yankees. That is a T207, I think. I'm not sure. Terrible with uh, with old cards, but this is uh, Harry Walter, right there. Nice cut. Beautiful design. I love this design. Uh, right There's the authentic card. It's a little off-center. I don't want to hit it or anything. Just because I don't want to get it damaged or anything. But the great, great artwork back in the day. Um, as I said, with the Yankees. I'll go find some information on them. Switch over. Harry Walter, right here. Harry Meigs Walter, uh, passed away in 1970. Professional baseball player. Uh, seven teams: Reds, Pirates, Cardinals, Sox, Yankees, and Cubs. Played most of his career with the Yankees. Um, first hit ever at Fenway. Seven seasons, 588 games. So you know he was just a, an average player here, middle of the road player, but still it's really cool. There you go. Harry Walter, he is there. Uh, you know, he might, this card might have a little uh, incentive to you if you're a Yankees fan. Because it is a Yankees card. So, next one. Right. 
right, next one, let's see. We have an Al Shaw. This is 15 of 15 on a looks like it's a line piece of paper with the Cardinals. That is I want to say that's a T206. I'm not positive. I think the last one was a T208. I'm not I got to should have probably brushed up on those. So let's look take a look at what Al Shaw did. Definitely him. That's the card we got. Uh, he was past 2004, five seasons, um, outfielder, 281 batting average. You know, back in the day, that wasn't exactly uh, the best 281. It's still decent. I mean, 14 home runs. Yeah, not too many. But yeah, 200, 281. Back in the day, uh, dead ball era. Uh, there would be, well, some guys had a lot of really high averages, but some had pretty low. But there you go. Five years with the Cardinals. 93. Wow. Lived a long life. All right. So that's our second one. Everyone kind of forgets the old school players of the... Everyone knows about Walt Johnson and Ty Cobb and all that, but there were still everyday players that were just here and there that were good or bad or just average, middle of the road. Not everyone was a Hall of Famer back in the day. All right, that's pretty obvious, though. Next one. Ooh, this one's cool. Let's see. It is Ray Fisher, 3 of 4 with the Yankees. I believe that's a T208. I'm not... If I'm wrong on that, don't just uh, I, I should have brushed up, but there we go. Ray Fisher with the Yankees, very cool. Let's take a look. Ray Fisher, right here. He, there we go. He uh, passed away in 1982. College, he was a. Uh, Pitcher and a college coach. Oh wow, he was a uh, he coached University of Michigan for a very long time, from 1921 to 1958. So I knew there was something familiar about him. I think I've heard of him. Uh, very nice. He had a lifetime ban apparently. Fisher known to be one of the few players to be reinstating after being banned. Yeah, so I guess he got banned. That's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know why he got banned either. Oh, yeah, that's all there. You can read that. I was kind of skimming. But, uh, yeah, he was a pretty good pitcher. 100 wins, 94 losses, 680 strikeouts, 282. Pretty good. Played for most of the Yankees a little bit with some of the Reds. Very cool card. Uh, you know, this is one of those guys that uh, you never know. Very nice. He has a legacy. Uh, Michigan Sports Hall of Fame. Uh, just so many. Very cool. All right, yeah, so that's definitely a uh, very good – that could be – that'll definitely be one of the top picks. Ray Fisher, very nice, if there's not, like, Cy Young or something. Very cool. Especially if you're a Wolf, uh, Wolverines fan or a Yankees fan, but mostly Wolverines, Michigan. All right, what do we got here? We have Larry Doyle, 17 of 18. What team is that? I want to say that's the Giants. Yeah, New York with the National League. That's the Giants. 
Larry Doyle. Very nice. Let's find out a little bit about him. There he is. That would have been a crazy cool baseball card to get. I actually love that card. Um, he's not a Hall of Famer, but did play for a very long time. Very good player. Long time. Uh, 100 triples. That's not easy. Stolen base leader. Uh, home run 74. Runs bad in. Very nice. Three time pennant winner. He was an MVP of the National League in 1912. Led the hits in 1909 and 1915. Triples. 25 triples. That's insane. Uh, 320 batting average. Crazy. Though. Very good player, Larry Doral. Um, I guess he's on the... Not a Hall of Famer, obviously, but very good one. Very nice hit. So, that could be a nice card to get. So, last one. We got two very productive players, another one, uh, a couple of everyday players that are just, you know, passerbys. And maybe we'll get a superstar. I think you get one Hall of Famer per case. Let's see. Oh, here we go. One of one, Ed Walsh cut auto. Very nice. One one, any, any one one. He's with the White Sox. Yeah, and he's got the little white stocking thing up there. Very nice, Ed Walsh. Um, let's take a look at him. We'll have a little history lesson. He's probably in the Hall of Fame. Ed Walsh is a Hall of Famer. Yes. Uh, very impressive career. One ninety five, one twenty six. Earned run average of one eight two. 17 strikeouts. Look, that is just a face to be to reckon with. Uh, part of the Veterans Committee, 1946. There is the card we actually got. It is the T205. There we go. That's nice. Uh, very cool. He passed away in, in 77. Mostly with the White Sox, obviously. A little bit with the Boston Braves. Was the White Sox manager, too. That's always cool. Won the World Series 1906. Very cool card. Uh, you know, this is one of those under these uh, one of those Hall of Famers you don't really know of. And, of course, it's a one of one. So I would say this is our odds-on favorite for the first overall pick. Uh, very cool hit. I would assume since they can only get one of them, it would uh, be one of the top cards in the set. So there you go. Very cool. Very cool. Love this product. I have another one up. Um, this one was a little... I think the price is a little higher, so... You might get a... You got a pretty good deal on this one, but uh, it's still very worth it. You know, even if... Uh, you're going to have a 1 in 5 chance at a cut auto with the tobacco card of a Hall of Famer. Who could be Cy Young, Walt Johnson, uh, Ty Cobb, Nap they all They're all in here. So, let's do that. Let's find out your draft order, and I will send you all an email on your draft or on the draft order information. We'll probably hold that sometime tomorrow. I'll have all the emails out. But um, you don't have to attend the live draft. If I, as I said, uh, you can just shoot me an email. What you want? What you have to do is just shoot me uh, your list, like say Walsh, Fisher, you know, down the line. And that's all. I'll go straight from that. You don't actually have to be there. But put all five names on there just because you don't know who, uh, what the other guy ahead of you wants. So maybe you'll get lucky and you can, you'll can you get a card that you didn't think you could get. It's happened all the time in drafts. So let's uh, find out what order you'll get. And then I'll send out your email and I'll be on my way. And then you can, we'll do that. <laughs> so spreadsheet five guys so this will be rather than a team you get a number and that is your draft position pretty um, pretty easy let's do it nine times one two three four five six seven eight and nine so 
You want the fourth spot because that'll give you the number one. But uh, and then you'll have a choice on whatever you want. Doesn't matter what card you take from me. It's completely your decision. Alrighty. Alright, this is for all the potatoes. Nine times again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And final order right here, nine. So there you go. Uh, this is not the order. I will show you the order. There it is. So Marcos has the top pick. Marcos is uh, number one. Uh, Gregory R., you are number two. Three is Derek T., uh, four is Michael K. Oh, whoops, I gotta do that again. And five is Daniel. So there we go. That's our draft order based on what was right there. Congratulations, Marcos. You have the board. You can choose whatever you want. You're on the clock. You can choose whatever. I'll have the uh, I'll send the email out right after I'm done with this. So there you go. I'll go over the hits once more before I leave. Just because, I don't know, whatever. So uh, probably the best hit right here was the one of one of Ed Walsh. He was a Hall of Famer for the White Sox. Uh, very good pitcher during the dead ball era. Very cool. We had a very nice uh, Larry Doyle, 17 of 18. Very good player for the Giants back in the day. Not a Hall of Famer. Only get one Hall of Famer per case, I believe. Uh, we have right here a Ray Fisher right there uh, with the Yankees. Three of four. He was the, if, uh, he was the old uh, Wolverines baseball coach, Michigan. Uh, we have Al Shaw. 15 of 15. He was the, you know, he played a couple years with the Cardinals. Nothing too special, but hey, there you go. And then we have uh, Harry Walter, three of five. He was a Yankees player, played uh, about, I think it was eight years or so. It was just an average everyday player. So there you go. That was our case. Pretty cool. Bunch of cool stuff. I have another one of those up. So if you like this, if you're in this, or maybe you're just uh, stopping by, Get in on it. Uh, I want to break as much as I can of this. So I'm out. I'll send that email out to the, the participants. And you have a great evening.